Howdy YouTube, today we're taking a look at a couple of custom cards and then also some Japanese exclusive cards. Very excited to get these opened up and reviewed for you guys. I hope you enjoy this review, bit of a fun review. We'll start I guess looking at uh, the custom cards, the Eureka cards. Uh, these are fantastic, they have uh, great detail. The pictures that the seller has on the net, and uh, by that I guess I just mean eBay, uh, they look really bad, like blatantly fake in person they look substantially better i don't know if you can see that i'll take it out of the sleeve so you can see or the sleeves i should say uh there is some great detail on these hopefully you guys can see that so we've got zorg the actual image of him i'm not the biggest fan i mean it works i think they could have used something a little bit nicer I'm hoping they add this guy into the TCG Player app. He is uh, shiny as well. I'm not sure how well that will come across on camera. He definitely doesn't look, you know, 110% legit. But uh, it's the little things like the uh, little bootleg square that make the difference. This guy's effect, basically you have to have 10 or more monsters in your graveyard. They've got to be dark monsters. He gains 1,000 attack for each monster on the field, graveyard, and hand. That's pretty OP. And he can't be destroyed by monster effects, spell or trap cards, and the summon of his card cannot be negated. So, uh, pretty beast. You can banish one dark monster at, uh, I guess, the start of your turn and destroy all of your opponent's cards. So, uh, ridiculously overpowered, much like he is in the show. I did uh, finish watching the series and absolutely loved it. I thought the show was outstanding, especially towards the end. It really picked up some of the character designs and everything that we got were uh, just outstanding. So, that is... Definitely really nice. And next up, we've got the Deerbound Colonel. In the show, this was Bakura's main monster. And it was pretty cool, to be honest. I love the way that it evolved and everything like that. This was the first one. He uses it in a duel against Kaiba. So I guess it is a legitimate card in that sense, which I guess warrants it being made. The effect, basically, it's a little bit like Relinquished, sort of. Once per turn, you can attach it to a monster, and then it goes into the spell of Trap Zone, and that monster loses 1,800 attack. If it kills something, it gains its effect, which, to be honest with you, uh, you know, in the show, was very beneficial. But uh, when you try and use this card, it is not all that useful. In Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro, uh, the card works really well. I'm trying to make a decent Bakura deck at the moment. If you have any ideas, please feel free to let me know, especially given we just got the latest box which I've uh, reviewed and unboxed on my channel and you can see there's a, a ton of Bakura cards in there so trying to make something work still a few things I need to get but if you have any ideas please let me know especially for using this guy reasonably competently in a deck uh, I love the artwork where he got the artwork from I'm not sure I assume it's just a picture off the net but it looks fantastic 1800 attack very cool monster one thing I didn't like is that it's a Five-star monster. One card he's got on there that I really want to try and pick up is he's got the uh, Duke of Demise, the fusion monster uh, between Earl of Demise and Headless Knight. And that looks fantastic. The artwork on that looks uh, very accurate to how it did in the show. And he's kind of beast. He's like 2,000 attack, but he can't be destroyed by anything. So I want to try and get my hands on that. So that's the Deerbound Colonel. Next up, we've got the Golden Castle of Stromberg. Again, used in the show. Probably the most OP card ever invented. I guess that's why they haven't put it into the actual card game itself. Basically, uh, at the start of each of your opponent's turns, it discards half of their deck to the graveyard. If they attack you, you can summon a level 4 monster. Uh, it's just a, in general, beast card. If you don't know how overpowered this is, open up the Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro app, put three of these in whatever deck you want, or even one, and uh, and just see what it does. Uh, failing that, check out the show because this card was an absolute beast. Again, he's done a really good job with the cards. Yes, they don't look, you know, 110%. As I said before, there's a legitimate card. But it still looks reasonably decent. For what it is, I'm only going to use these cards for fun with my friends anyway. So on that basis, I don't mind. But yeah, really awesome customs. Next up in the mail, we got Mound of the Bound Creator of... Building a gold card deck, there was a, a great build uh, that a friend gave to me that looks outstanding. So I'm going to try and build that again just for fun with friends competitively, probably. Uh, actually, it won't be too bad competitively if um, 
all the cards are legal, which I'm not sure they are, to be honest. But uh, he shows me they are. But um, a pretty decent deck. And I, I will profile that for you guys once it's all built. And a nice looking card. I love the artwork on this. Very cool. Okay, and the last series of things I'm going to review for you guys are these cards I bought from Japan. One thing I will say, the seller, fantastic. Lovely, lovely seller. Really helpful. These sleeves look fantastic just on their own. What have we got inside? We've got a few things. Well, only really three. So I rate the sleeve already. But in here we have, I'll show you the sleeves as well. These look sick. Like it was almost worth buying... Not really, but, well, yeah, I'm going to say I, I really enjoy these sleeves. If I can find a set of these, 100% I'm buying them. They look outstanding. But uh, the cards we've got, we'll start with the Divine Serpent of Gech. Probably the worst name I can think of for a Yu-Gi-Oh card. The Divine Serpent part's okay, but they really didn't have a lot of imagination with that second part there. The card itself looks really cool. The one in the anime was essentially useless it was kind of crappy to be honest with you yes it gets the infinity attack and all that sort of stuff but um it wasn't used all that much it was only in for one maybe two episodes max and uh the artwork on the card was pretty poor as well at least this one looks brilliant really impressive looking card uh now it can't be normal summon can only be special summoned when a normal monster is destroyed you pay half your life points you summon this guy and basically his attack becomes the highest attack on the field and he halves the attack of uh, your opponent's monster that's attacking this or that you're attacking so basically uh, it's only as strong as your opponent's monsters I haven't been able to use this guy with much success uh, on the the Yu-Gi-Oh app again if you have any deck ideas please let me know there is a gadget deck that I am building I've got all the cards for it and that's not bad but it's not fantastic having said that the card itself looks fantastic hopefully you can see uh, there's something about Japanese cards that just looks ridiculously cool, and this is no exception. And last but not least, we have Exodia Necros. One thing I'm going to say about these cards, I love the design. If you tilt it to the side, you can see the sort of the, the holographic uh, little dots and, and sparkles, I guess, on it. Then if you tilt it on a different angle, hopefully you can see the Egyptian writing and Egyptian symbols. That's fantastic. Why don't we get that in the West? The, the Japs definitely know how to do uh, promo-based cards. Two fantastic cards. I love the artwork. The Exodia Necros just in that black color scheme. There's something about that that is seriously, legitimately awesome. So I am a very big fan of both these cards. Again, you can't really do anything with them in terms of playability or having a decent deck. But um, Exodia Necros was a beast in the show. Kyber's dad uses it, of course. And uh, contract with Exodia, we get the card to summon him. So uh, a really cool set. Loving the sleeves they come with as well. And overall, it was a good uh, good day to get the mail.